Hello YouTube, Caitlin here, and do you want to learn how to curl your hair like me? So I've had a lot of people in real life and on YouTube be like, oh my gosh, how do you curl your hair, Caitlin? It's so beautiful. How do you do that? And it's a funny thing to have someone ask me because for the longest time I was like, my hair is so ugly. I don't know how to curl. I don't know how to make it look like all these pretty models. But I have finally kind of come to the point where I have a system of curling my hair and other people like it and I like it and it works for me. So I thought I would share it with you guys. So here is a tutorial on how to curl your hair. So I start with fully dried hair and because my hair is extra thick, I like to make sure that it's completely dry because it's not gonna work if you've got, you know, like places in the back that are still kind of damp or whatever, you're gonna end up with flat curls. Things that you might need include some blow dry clips or just clips in general to hold back your curls while you curl underneath them. I use a curling arm with a half inch barrel. That's really what does best for me. Anything bigger doesn't really get my hair curled enough. Anything smaller just kind of makes me look like crazy with little tiny ringlets. I put it on the highest heat setting, which for this Conair it's 30. I'm not sure what happens when you go above that, but hopefully your hair won't melt off. Split it into two sections. Do a little brush through just so you don't have any tangles because tangles are bad. Now there are different ways you can go about curling your hair, but I like to start from the very top. I like to get just sort of like a little chunk of hair and clamp it around the middle and then I start spinning and kind of letting the hair go through it. So I'm sort of pulling it out slowly till it reaches the end and the end is kind of clamped in it and then I spin the rest of it up. Half of my hair is actually curled around the inner barrel and held in there tightly by the the nice clamp and the other half is pulled around the outside. Give it like 30 seconds depending on how thick the hair is pretty much. And then when you take the curling iron out, the key is you push on the clamp to open it and then pull out so you're not, you don't have to like undo the, the curl or anything like that. You just want to pull straight out so that you're left with a nice curl. And then I do this on the other side. And then when I got my two top curls, I take my little clamp and then I just kind of pull them up and away and clamp them at the top. And I tend to curl just one side at a time. The way I have cut my hair, I can just kind of take it section by section like backwards. Pretty much if you have layers in your hair, you want to go by like your layer length. Like really by curling those shorter layers individually, that's what gives me the volume at the top of my hair. Once you kind of get the rhythm down of kind of spinning the curling iron as well as letting the clamp open a little bit and let the hair kind of slide through, you can really do it pretty quickly. Okay, so once you've got one side of your hair curled, this is a great time to pull out some hairspray just to make sure that it stays set. So I just spritz it pretty lightly around, especially the ends. I also use Garnier Fructi Style Ultra Strong Sleek and Shine. Like I need at least a four on my hairspray in order for my hair to stay and not be crazy frizzy or just fall flat. Now for the other side. Another important thing to remember is to curl with the curl of your hair, your natural kind of direction that your hair would curl. Oh, last one's curled. So now again, we have to set it. All right, so now we let down those top two curls. And your hair's curled, this is great, right? That you can totally go out in public looking like this. No. So now comes the magic, it's the brushing it out. So I usually start from underneath, and I just run my hands through the bottom layers. Because these bottom layers don't need to be as curled as, say, the top. And then I add in my other hand, and just kind of keep running it through. So I'm being very gentle with it. I'm just kind of pulling the layers 
out or the curls out a little bit. And the same with this side, start from underneath. I would suggest having very clean fingers when you do this because you don't want to be like putting grease and stuff back in your hair. So when you pull them out a little bit with your hands, then take a brush and I like a smaller bristled brush, something that allows air to kind of go through it. And then I just start from the, the top and just brush all the way through. Now you may not be able to do this depending on how your hair is. Like if you have really fine hair that doesn't curl very well, I would just go with brushing it with your hands. But if you have thicker hair that holds curl well like mine, mine does really well if you do brush it through. And then it gives it that kind of like bounce. And then to finish it off, of course, I add just a little bit more hairspray. And this you can kind of go crazy with. You can add all kinds of hairspray to make it super hold or whatever you want to do. Ta-da! So what do you think, guys? Do you like how I curl my hair? Do you think you could do it for yourself? Obviously, if you're a guy, this video probably doesn't really apply to you as much, so sorry about that. But hey, this is for the girls who just know how to curl their hair. I could have used this information when I was a teenager because I was really bad at curling my hair. <laughs> I look back at some pictures of mine and I'm like, oh gosh. Why? Why did I think that looked good? Anyway, tell me down in the comments your thoughts about curling hair and all that fun stuff. And remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if this video made you smile. See you guys next Thursday. I'm gonna run into a wall if I do that today. <laughs>